Hi everyone, uh, in this short video I want to explain how do you can create a correctly oriented hierarchical directed graph in topologic Pi, mainly uh, trees. If you can think about a tree structure starting from the root and going to the branches, it, it has a certain direction and um, it, it can be a little bit tricky in topologic Pi uh, to create that because the default graphs in topologic Pi are undirected graphs. They the direction of the edges in them is cannot be relied on. It can it, they are random. It can be in any direction uh, they want. So uh, let me show you kind of what the issue is. Uh, so basically, what we are trying to uh, get at the end, the result we're trying to get at, is a graph like as you see here with the uh, red arrows that has a source starting here, for example, and it branches correctly as it moves forward in a tree-like structure. So the default dual graph, as I said, uh, in uh, topologic pi will connect all the cells that you have in a cell complex like this, uh, and it will go through all the shared uh, walls or surfaces or faces, as you can see here, uh, and creates a full dual graph. Well, uh, that's not what we want because we did not want uh, connections between these rooms. Let's say this is an HVAC duct and we want to kind of go from a source, like maybe a mechanical room, through the central corridor and then branch into the different rooms. So we do not want connections between the rooms themselves, like, like this is giving us. So how do we solve this? The trick is to use apertures. So an aperture is basically, you can think of it as a window or a door or a hole in the wall, basically. And where you dig these holes in the, in the walls, uh, you can tell the graph to only go through uh, shared surfaces that have these apertures between them or shared, shared surfaces between rooms. Uh, so how do, we, how do we do that? Basically, when you do a graph and you give it an option to say, via shared apertures, uh, the graph will only go or connect rooms that have apertures between them, as you can see here. So you basically place your apertures exactly where you want the, the graph to go through. And because these walls here between the rooms don't have them, uh, there is no edge connected with them. However, we still have an issue here. And the issue is that even though we got the, the correct structure, as you can see here, the correct kind of uh, tree-like structure, uh, the directions of the edges in this structure are not consistent, they're random. So you can see here, for example, this is supposed to be our source, but this is the end vertex of that edge. The arrow is pointing in the wrong way. Uh, same here, same here, and same here. So it just so happens that these are pointed in the right way, but you cannot rely on them. So if we are going to do calculations and follow logically this structure so that we can analyze it, we need these edges to be oriented in the correct manner. So how do we solve this? Uh, you solve it through a method called uh, graph.tree. So by using graph.tree and you're giving it a graph and you're giving it also a root vertex, it will create the uh, correct tree structure for you. It assumes that the graph is a tree-like structure and it will orient the edges uh, correctly from you, starting from the root vertex that you have specified, which in this case, we used this root vertex. If I, for example, chose this root vertex, you will not, you would have seen that the arrows would have, like, would go out here to the left and to the right, but then this arrow would be uh, reversed and then go left to the right, and then this would be reversed left and right, and then this would be reversed ending here. So choosing the, the root vertex is obviously uh, very important to start kind of uh, structuring the tree correctly. And that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this short uh, video and uh, email me if you would like any uh, further information on it. Thank you.